for a while now. I mean, besides the 250 class kitchen freaking waxed everybody. Yeah, and I, I like this kid a lot. I um, do too. I didn't realize that he was 23 years old. So he's a little older on the 250 a lot, class. A lot older. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what, well, his second year or third Wait, year? So I second actually... Year? Uh, third, 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 third. It's definitely his third. Is for sure. What, third. But, but oh yeah, no, because it. twenty-one he read Loretta's. Yes, correct. And oh so yeah, twenty-two he did a start. So yeah, it's third. Yeah, no. So 20, I, 22, 23. No, he read not. Loretta's in twenty-one. Oh, because okay, so there is a second. Idiot, year, idiot. Whatever. What we don't it, know. Hey. We don't know, dude. Google. We don't know. <laughs> yeah, Jagger, come on. Um, so yeah, he is a little bit older in the two fifty class. Yeah, yes. twenty-three. But um, I I think that he's uh, really shown his his true potential. I thought the racing was great. You know, it's the big, sort of the biggest surprise of this championship is, is really uh, Joe uh, Shimoda. Like Dude, I his agree. lack no of, I picked him results. for the title. I picked yeah. Him. And um, it's just really surprising, I guess was, I, mean, I, I like the kid. I think I do too. He's a really well good kid. It's just like, yeah, it's, it's a new bike <clears throat> problem. Or just the Shimoda problem? I don't know. They they talk about that stuff. The Shimoda but it's like, problem? Is that what you said? Yeah, Dude. Shimoda problem. I don't know. I've never heard of a Shimoda problem, but maybe. maybe. Say, it could be yeah. like his own thing, you know what I mean? Or is it a yeah. big issue? But do you think Levi's doing better now that he's on pro circuit than he was on star? Obviously. But do you think that was a bike thing? Well, you just find the chemistry. You find your right chemistry and that. All of those things starting to work together, and then you start to gel with the bike. And yeah. I mean, this thing with Joe... Maybe he's just not gelling with the bike. His starts haven't been there, all of that sort of stuff. Yeah. But, you know, one thing also that really caught me, and, I, and I'm always going to have a little chip on my shoulder about this, mm -hmm. is, you know, you've got uh, guys like Hampshire um, and Smith that have literally been in the class for a decade. Dude, they're almost right? full design. Yeah. Right. Kind of like Craig. I almost pointed out my first full season because yeah. of how – the advancement points, you'd get points for once to five motocross. Yeah. If you rode 250 supercross, you'd get right. points, all this. So it was a lot different. And, you know, even even Carmichael needed one more year. Yeah. Like he says, man, I wish I'd had one more year. But he wasn't allowed but, to. But it's like, it's crazy that that these guys have been in, in this class for so long. When, know. you know, sort of conceptually, it's a development class, right? But... That's what it. The that, way the rules work, it, and and I'd be doing the same thing. Don't get me wrong. Like I'd go wherever I can get, make money, make the most money for my family. Yeah. And and results and the whole thing, um, but I guess at this point, let's don't refer to it as a development class. No, because it's not. There's so many of yeah. those guys that are worried to bump up to the 450s because they see so many guys bump up to 450s and they don't do that well. Yeah. yeah. You know, so why not stick in a class? Well, that and think about. At, but. Yeah, but think about what what happened from the mid nineties when, you know, McGrath had won 72 main events and then along comes Carmichael, yeah. Reed, Stewart, these guys, there were, there was a time where, um, we, we did a, um, a supercross season preview show for CBS. Yeah. Uh, Stanton McGrath, Carmichael, myself and, uh, Ralph, Ralph hosted. And at the time, I love Ralph, by the way, I'm, I'm going to say it was 2010, 20, 2009, something mm -hmm. like that. There had been 77 125 slash light slash 250 main event winners. There had been 35 different champions. Of those champions, there had been like seven, eight, nine that had won two championships, right? You've huh. got your Swinks, oh, wow. you got your Swinks, your Fonsecas, yeah. your Pichon, God, your Huffman's, all these guys, right? Yeah. And yet, um, so many of those guys that were two-time champions had failed to even win a single 450 main event. Yeah. Huffman won one as the night he jumped the gate in Atlanta, but I'm over <laughs> it. I got second that night. Yeah. But, but he won one. Mm -hmm. He was a two-time 125 champion, and he won one main event. Oh, and shoot. it's because you went, you went from McGrath to Carmichael to these guys that you had four guys right in a row that became the winningest four riders in the sport. Yeah. And so guys that were amazing 250 guys, they couldn't do it. They yeah. couldn't, right. you know. Yeah, it's, it's sad. It's and sad. now it's balanced out some. All that, that, those numbers have softened a little. Yeah.